Yeah, we, we've lost... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. We've lost the art of personal meditation today for the most part. I mean, as preachers, we're required to do it with every sermon we, we prepare a bit. Actually, David Saxton wrote that book as a THM degree, which I supervised, and I had studied the Puritans on meditation and thought there was only one book on the subject and then discovered in my research that there were 41 books on the subject. And the Puritans distinguish between personal deliberate meditation and personal, what they called occasional, we would call spontaneous meditation. And they said, you need to do both. And if you're not backsliding, you will naturally do the other, the, the spontaneous. And so what they advocated was when you do your daily deliberate meditation, read a couple of verses and then meditate on those two or three verses and then pray consciously in light of what you just meditated on. And then go back and do the same thing. So you go prayer, meditation, I'm sorry, scripture reading, meditation, prayer, scripture reading, meditation, prayer. Throughout one meditation period, you might be praying four or five different times. And so they said, meditation is the halfway house between scripture reading and prayer. So if I was sitting in your living room, I would say, don't you struggle like I do that your prayers are the same every day. And here's a way to give variety in your prayers because you're praying consciously each time in relationship to those two verses. And I think David Saxton picked up on that and explored it further than I did. But there's, we need to immerse ourselves in the Puritan concept of meditation because they would say they were sitting here and they had five minutes. They might look out there and see a door. They might meditate on a door and uh, just say, well, Jesus Christ said, I'm the door. What ways is Jesus Christ the door? And just spontaneously have their minds go that way. Well, he, he's at entrance. He's, he's also shuts the door to unbelievers and just have an edifying meditation. We are so visually oriented in a secular way that today we have a problem even meditating for five minutes on something. I mean, when's the last time you sat in your chair and meditated on your future home of heaven? We, we can't do it. So we, we really need to learn how to meditate.